What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into my good sis voice. Queen Naja Trina after Clarence responds. Lena won't smoke with Neek after beat up comment. Let's get it. Does relationship advice videos now. And recently they had a debate about engagements and marriage. And a lot of people had some things to say about them personally after Queen said this. You do it after That's why I will leave. After 10 years? Yes, I definitely leave. 10 years is crazy. It is yeah, because. What if, what if she's like, what if she's like 48? 48? Like, what if she's like 48? You don't know how old that lady mm -hmm. is. Babe, your life is not over at 48 or 50. I've seen 50 year old women. J-Lo is past 50. Like, it's beautiful women out there. You can still get your subject. It's never too late. I don't think it's too late. Nah, it's never too late. I'm not saying it's too late. I'm just saying I think that would make it a little more difficult. Yeah, you just don't know what Being with that she's in because you gotta understand, in order to put yourself in her shoes, like you're saying it easy like oh i will leave but she hasn't left obviously because she's been there for 10 years so she's not leaving for a but if that's reason. something that you genuinely like really want and the and if you find out that your partner like i'm sorry i'm trying to just listen to get has no one first of all like he said see if he has intentions of doing it have y'all ever talked about it? Like, has he might it, not. I'm not gonna lie, he might not. Ever Ten years, he might not. He might but not if that's something that you want, but maybe he doesn't want, then maybe you need to break up with your boy. His sister met her girlfriend way before Queen and Clarence and she been popped the question Clarence just don't want to be married. Telling him in advance you giving him 10 years either be quiet or leave. Queen kind of smart she's telling Clarence without telling him that he needs to hurry up because I think it's pushing her away. Like why don't you want to marry her by now? I just think that that shit is ridiculous because first of all I don't think you should force anybody to marry you and don't get me wrong I don't think she's forcing him because she's being very transparent but he never really responds on that transparency i will say we be kind of left in the dust <laughs> with how he's feeling about the whole marriage thing i you know he probably talks amongst his his homeboys about it but i don't know what they speak about it because she this probably the first time i ever heard her be like yeah bro if you ain't if you ain't got no plans on proposing yeah i'm gonna holla at you you know what i'm saying because that's something that she desires which is okay i just don't feel like you should rush a nigga but if she feels as though like yeah if you ain't trying to do this you know what i'm saying in the next 10 years which that was a not next 10 years but in 10 years to complete our relationship or our dynamic then i'm out that could he could look at that like bro i'm not about to be rushed so she could go you know or he could look at it like oh shit i ain't got that much time left you know so i get it now bro five years is max and we're together for more than that and you're not thinking about marrying me i'm gone i'm curious as to why he hasn't proposed yet it don't take five plus years to know if you want to marry someone this dude says she hasn't left after 10 years of no ring so she's not going to leave because she doesn't have a ring queen better listen i saw somebody said never force a man to propose and don't wait around either and that's law i think queen should keep it moving because i don't think he want to marry her y'all even I, I don't know i'm not gonna say i don't think he don't I don't think he wants to marry her because like a lot of people or a lot of men will be like, man, I, I ain't proposed yet. Cause the ring got to be top tier and he got the money. So, um, I don't like me. I don't believe in the dynamic of marriage with the law. Like y'all all in my business. I got to get a marriage license, blah, blah, blah. I just, that part I ain't with, to be honest, the ceremony, uh what we mean to each other and things like that completely with but the rest of it nah i will say i thought he would have proposed <laughs> like last year to be honest with you um but i don't believe in rushing and if she don't believe in waiting we might have a situation on our hands got comments down below let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that let's talk about it i'm with now, both I'm of not them one to get into celebrities business because prime example they're celebrities so they're gonna do what they want but my personal opinion on the situation, because my homegirl sent this to me, Clarence is not ready to be married. Because the simple fact, he didn't been with Queen for over some years now. They got a whole beautiful baby together. They created a whole That don't mean he ain't ready to be married. But that means he, first of all, y'all know Clarence do what he want on his time. So that's the thing. Queen just saying, I'm not going to be on your time. Period. But I don't even think it's the thing of not wanting to marry him. I think that he feel like y'all ain't going to make him do shit he don't do yet. <laughs> Family. And like, She's basically mentioning her songs and her podcasts that she going on. Like, she's ready to be yeah, a wife. Like, she's ready true. to settle down. Master I just don't too. think that Clarence is ready for that. But he's not going to tell her because he doesn't want her to leave. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying Clarence is out there cheating on her. I'm not saying that. I just don't think he's ready to be the committed man that she wants all the way through. But he's there for her right now in a way that she needs. But it's almost like he's trying to 
make himself ready because she's ready, but he's not ready for it. But in the end, it's not going to work out good. Now, let's talk about mm -hmm. Nick and Lena because they did have a back and forth via text and some cuss words and name calling was exchanged. And then Nick said this. I did text her and ask her to stop speaking about this school situation because she's a fucking annoying. All she do is speak and speak oh, and step out of her place. She can learn to stay in her place don't get a beat up trying to fucking save face lena tweet shorty blocked me three days ago but got on a youtube video and said she'll beat me up girl text me back listen lena you can do what you want but you don't want that smoke because uh -uh. our poor girl carmen ain't been right since nick put hands <laughs> friend <laughs> but you ain't never lied karma was scared do you hear me in fear and I think Nick is trying to give her a good old southern warning. Listen, sis, this ain't what you want. Leave me alone. And y'all know it gets even worse when it's about your child. So, ooh, girl. It's on her, okay? Just keep it moving. Dang. Tyson has spoke out because a lot of people think Drake blocked him after he reacted to Kendrick diss. So, every time I'm on stream, right? Yeah. I he always did. say, they be like, yo, te yo, text Drake, text Drake. I always say, why? Do I think, it's, I always say, I just think I got this or something mm. they think they be like duh yes but i be like i don't mm. i used to have his number like in october but he switched numbers hello and it was green after so. um ovo fest yes exactly literally yes like, after ovo like, fest he switched his number he had a new number yeah he do and, that every year and yeah we, and then obviously we've only been communicating <laughs> through ig not yet and then after um i went to go i went to go check it one more time and it was just it was it was uh green because he changed his number so they all. Oh. If, if, if he blocked me and if it was his number. You wouldn't block him everywhere. No, not that. It would just be blue. And it just wouldn't deliver. If he blocked you? Yes. If really? I block you, That's your message just, it just wouldn't deliver, gang. It because... wouldn't be green. It just wouldn't deliver. No. Yes, gang. You got blocked, bro. No, gang. <laughs> no. Wait, no, no. All right. All troll shit aside. Yeah. He got a song called Text Go Green. Which yes. Which honestly, never mind, bro. bro Do that, that not mean when you get no. blocked? Yeah, look, where's my phone at? Fuck. I'm blocked, right? Yup. Let me go text hmm. Phantom. Yeah. Yo, Phantom. What's the vibes, my heart? MH? It's green. It just doesn't go through. It's blue. I mean, it's blue. Yeah, it's blue. It just doesn't go through. Damn. Yeah. So how did it turn green? Because he, he switched changed his, his number. number. <laughs> It's no longer surface. It's no longer oh. surface. The Shape Force and Nightmare had a sit down on. Yeah. Streams together because previously they were beefing because the Shay was messing with Nightmare's ex girlfriend and then Nightmare started messing with the Shay's girlfriend as payback and it just got messy during that time. I will link the videos down below so y'all can catch up on that T. But they did sit down and hash it out and I'm glad that they're cool now. Listen. Crazy. I was mad at you. Really? Nah, yeah. I, I see some shit. Nigga, sound really crazy. I'm like, bro, what the. Why you mad at me? You had to like, I just was like, bro, let me just figure out who this nigga's girl is and let me go for it. I'm like, bro, what the f A YouTuber over here trying to do this shit? Like, like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like, up. Up. The Chris man. Crank bro, crank <laughs> that was because it's comedy. Like, it's funny. You gotta tell me you see that shit, you ain't laugh. No. Oh, uh, God. I didn't laugh. <laughs> oh, that shit is not funny. I didn't laugh. I did not <laughs> laugh. What the not First of all. I ain't seen not marrying a minute. He looked totally different. But um, these men really be mad as hell about these women. I'm talking about big mad. But in they rap songs, all they talk about is how they don't care for them. Fuck bitches. I hate women. Women ain't nothing. But then let a nigga mess with your girl is just a problem. What are you talking about? I didn't laugh. I was mad as that nigga still years. mad. Bro, I'm still mad about it. Like, bro. but I'm telling you, but I swear to uh -oh. God, the social. You know what? Another thing too, I feel like this, bro. You make for content, bro. Yeah, for content, bro. I, I wasn't, bro. Like, no, whatever. I wasn't looking like. I think honestly, bro. And this was unsaid between my heart, but I honestly feel like we were just talking to each other just to get over each other's answers. Huh? Did you get the game? But nah, 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 nah. He nah, lying. Nah, nah, nah. Be honest. Nah, he lying. Nah, nah, nah. You gotta tell the truth. Nah, nah, nah. nah he nah. lying. Be nah, nah, nah. Rich man. No. Rich man. No. Listen, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Wait, that shit was crazy. And like, I'm saying, bro. Yeah, we were literally like starting to get over each other. Ex, honestly, that's sort like honestly, bro. Halle Bailey said he this. Like shit. So since me and Halo are just waiting, guys, let's do a Q and A. Y'all got some questions I want to answer. 
much. Happy first Mother's Day. Thank you so much. If reincarnation is a thing, what animal would you want to be in a second? Do you want any kids? Thank you. You're looking beautiful. That's so nice. So, yes, if reincarnation is a thing, I would want to be a bird. You could fly. You fly around. Definitely would be a bird. And yes, I want a lot more children now. After having Halo, I'm like, I would literally get pregnant again. Oh, shit. And have a bunch. They about to have a girl on the way. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. That whole marriage thing, because like everybody be asking me when I'm going to marry um, Honey Sauce. And I'm like, yo, hey, yo, relax. I got this. And I feel like that's how uh, Clarence feel. That's what he's been saying all these years. Like, just because you ready to get married don't mean you about to be rush me to get married. It ain't just about getting married. Like, it, it's it's so much to that. And um, when you're not in a person relationship, you don't know. And that does not mean someone isn't happy or whatever. In my case, I ain't gonna lie. If I had the bad Clarence hat, I would have been, I would have been proposed because <laughs> it's the rock for me. I, I'm so extra. I just want the ring to be top tier. You know what I'm saying? And then y'all friend says she wanted a wedding on a farm and a whole bunch of, come on now. It's a lot. It's a lot. Y'all got to talk to y'all friend, tell her to just relax on the things that we do in this it for this occasion and then maybe it wouldn't take so damn long okay but now nah, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below i'm done with this video love y'all appreciate y'all hey yeah